The Young Angels Network Yan has taken a significant step towards fostering sustainability among the vulnerable girls of Grace Vera. So this is Recognizing the immense potential for growth, the network has initiated a comprehensive training program that encompasses various aspects, including liquid soap making, mentorship, a mental health education, and mid-standing over a 1.5 overall machine. Perfect. The Young Angels Network is a non-profit organization run by teenage girls that started during the challenging time of the COVID-19 pandemic and purpose to reach out to vulnerable girls. <laughs> Yan took on this initiative, giving their visit to the Grace Vera Girls Sanctuary in Kabale District, purpose to learn from each other, share experiences, and gather insights that could help enhance their activities, projects, and initiatives. According to Ruth Kende Jingabaika, the director and founder of the Grace Vera Girls Sanctuary, this dual purpose aims to boost income generation for the girls, paving the way for more sexual and empowered future. By acquiring the skills necessary for crafting liquid soap, the girls are not only enhancing their financial prospects, but also gaining a sense of independence. Behind me that you see now in different groups, what they're doing now is soap making, because they also said, what can we do? What can we teach Grace Villa? Another thing that will help with sustainability. So the whole day has been amazing, I have to say. These are, it was like kind of a peer-to-peer -peer connection, like youth teaching youth. Even the older um, adults teaching the youth, they were mentoring us on things like mental health. You know, that how that really came to light during COVID. Gabaika further reveals that the Grace Beer organization, having no sponsors, prompted them to take on sustainable projects to assist them in financing the organization and reducing expenditure. She adds saying that tailoring is the leading income generating project at the organization. We don't have any organization supporting us. We don't have an umbrella. We don't have sponsors. We don't, you know, it's graceful. We are Ugandan founded and woman founded. So one thing that we struggled with a lot is finances. People see us happy. We're always happy. They see us dressed well in our own clothes. And they, they, they don't realize that there's a tough story behind because we don't allow our tough stories to define us. Instead, when we go through bad, bad things, we say, how can we find a solution? So a long time ago, we decided, let's really, really focus on sustainability. And sustainability that also empowers the children, so that when they finish what school, because all our kids are in school, they'll also have an extra skill that can help them, even after they leave the gate. So our first one ever was Taylor. Gian Chatuhele, the technical advisor of the Young Angels Network, says that in search of partners to work with, they came along the Graceville Girls Sanctuary, which they selected to extend a helping hand in different aspects, including mentorship, mental health and skill promotion. Simultaneously, she had saying that the program equips them with a practical skill set to extend beyond monetary gains. She adds that the knowledge and expertise acquired in liquid soap making can be utilized personally for self-care and within the home for the well-being of their families. During our research and you know, find, trying to find partners to work with, we came across the Breast, uh, Breast Villa as um, an organization that would benefit from some of the projects that we do. We are hopeful that with these skills of making liquid soap, they'll be able to, to pack this liquid soap, they'll be able to sell it in the, out in the market and be able to get some economic empowerment that will help them sustain themselves in such a way as paying school fees or just simply improving their livelihoods. Mm. Chatuhiri father says that they took on the initiative of donating an overrock machine to the Grace Vera girls to supplement the other tailoring machines they have, saying that this will as well increase the value of the products made. This sewing machine was important to their tailoring department in such a way that it is, it is a machine that helps finish the work that they do. So they, they have a, tailor, a fully fledged tailoring department, but they lacked that machine that properly finishes their work as you saw to make sure that the finishing is neat and that it can be able to be accepted on the even international market. So we are hoping that with this machine now arriving at Brest Villa, the tailoring work at Brest Villa will be elevated, will be improved, you know, to a certain value that it can be accepted at international markets and other markets that are important in the country. Speaking to some of the girls at Grace Villa, they expressed their happiness about gaining new skills and knowledge, saying that this will assist them in their day-to-day -day life. When you are looking for a mentor, you shouldn't look for any, for any person that you can be my mentor. You should look for a mentor who will not discourage you, but encourage you in what you're doing, who will not let you down, but uplift you. And 
and right now we are learning how to make liquid soap and I think this will help us in many ways like washing dishes, cleaning our home and we can save our money because we have been spending money buying liquid soap and it's expensive but since they have taught us how to make liquid soap I think from now no more buying liquid soap because we have a talent of making it for our own. Mm. It helped me to know how to make liquid soap and now I can try to make it mm. when I have the chemicals. Deng Angels Network's initiative is a remarkable stride towards empowerment, self-sufficiency and overall well-being. Nobody can match for Chicken Television.